Hey guys, Steven here, and I've got a completion to show off, but I'm not going to be focusing on the entire game. In LA Noir, I only needed one achievement to complete the game, and I've been sitting on it for a while, but not anymore. The achievement I needed was called High Flyer, and you can get it in the Reefer Madness DLC mission. To get the achievement, you need to go to a location that the case doesn't want you to go first. Normally this would keep you from getting 5 stars on the case, which is the whole reason I missed it in the first place. I tried a while ago to get this achievement, but I couldn't get the cutscene to start when I arrived at the correct location, and I learned this is because there are certain clues back at the house that you need to find in order to cue the cutscene. So after the shootout, Cole will be walking around the drug house looking for clues. First stop at the guy you killed and go through his jacket pockets. In there you'll find a silver coin and also some identification. Make sure to touch it just to confirm it's real. After those two, head to the back room where you can find a newspaper with the location of the market you need to head to. That's all the clues needed for inside the house, so we're going to head into the backyard and go into this shed. Once you're in there, there will be a can on the shelf. Pull it to open a secret entrance. Inside the secret room, use the can opener to open the cans of reefer here on the shelf. I think you only need to open one, but I did both just to be safe. After that, have a look through the logbook and tap on any shipments that are either from Tijuana or the person with the initials EJ. And after you do that, you should have everything you need. So get in the car and head over to 20th Century Market, where a cutscene should start when you arrive. Once it's done and the chase begins, the achievement should pop. And there it is. You can see that was the last achievement I needed. I was curious when my first achievement was in the game, and it was actually back in 2012, which makes me feel old. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm working on completing some other games, and I'd like to have another video soon, but who knows? I have been streaming more on Twitch every weekday from 7 to 8. It's mostly gameplay with no commentary, but I'll have my mic going every now and then. It just depends on the game and the day, honestly. If that's something that piques your interest, I'll have a link to my Twitch in the description. But that's all I have to say, so thank you for watching, and until next time.